And I think, again, in my, cl uh, my practice, I always look at PD-L1 expression as the first um, sort of decision. Um, uh, this is obviously for patients, again, in whom we have done a complete set of uh, comprehensive genomic analysis with a next-gen sequencing panel. We make sure they don't have any of the actionable mutations, such as EGFR, ALKROS, BRAF, uh, NTRAC, RET, any of those. Um, we want to make sure those patients are uh, directed towards appropriate targeted therapy. We'll look at PDL1 next, and for me, if PDL1 is over 50%, um, I would explore the possibility of using pembrolizumab alone as the drug that's approved right now uh, in this setting. Um, it is possible that later down the road we'll have a tazolizumab also approved for high PDL1 based on a study that was just presented, but we don't have that at this point. Um, so to me, pembrolizumab for patients over 50% uh, PDL1 expression um, is the appropriate care.